Hey, it's Coach Jamila, and today we are talking about how to stop thinking about your ex-husband and get over him once and for all. I'm going to be sharing a very powerful exercise with you today, so I encourage you to stay tuned if this is something you're struggling with. Typically, this is an issue for women um, when they go through an unwanted divorce. Um, obviously, they didn't want the relationship to end, and so they're in the grieving stage, okay? That's the first stage. It's almost like a death. It's like your husband has died, okay? And it's grief, so it takes time. But sometimes when you're in this phase, you may not immediately hate your husband. You may not like what he did, but you may still be in love with him. You may still fantasize about him showing up at your doorstep with flowers and begging your forgiveness and you guys getting back together, okay? That may be where your mind is. But one big problem, he's already moved on with a new woman or his mistress or married someone else. And so that's not a possibility anymore. And so you have to figure out how to stop wanting to be with this person who you know on a conscious level has caused you so much pain, but in your heart, you're still nostalgic about this life that you all had, okay? So this exercise is gonna help you work through these feelings and hopefully come to the place to where you will be over it and able to move forward and no longer look at him longing for him, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is you're gonna need a paper and pen, okay? And you're gonna get your paper and you're gonna write four columns. Now, in the first column, you're gonna write what I liked slash loved about him, okay? And, we're and you're only gonna do one column at a time. And then the second column is you're gonna write how it made me feel, these good things. The third column, you're gonna write what I didn't like slash hated about him. And then the last column, how it made me feel, okay? So go ahead and write out your, your, your titles on your columns. Okay, so when you go through this exercise, you're going to do an entire column, like I said, one at a time. So the first column is I want you to go through those things that you liked and loved about him and write them all down. And when I say liked and loved, what I'm talking about are uh, those things that he did that made your heart melt, made you fall in love with him. Uh, the friendship, what was it that you really enjoyed about interacting with him, uh, being in his company, okay? I want you to write all that down in that first column, okay? And once you've written all those items down, I want you to go to the second column, and I want you to, for each item, I want you to write how it made you feel. For example, maybe you it's like, I loved that he had a great sense of humor. It made me happy that he always tried to make me laugh, okay? So that's what you're going to write. Do the first column first, get them all down, and then do the second column, how those things made you feel, okay? So you can go ahead and pause the video and do that. Okay, welcome back. So now we're gonna move on to our third column, which is what I didn't like slash hated about him, okay? So now these are things that got on your nerves, okay? Um, but you put up with. Or maybe it was like the same argument that you've been having for the last 10 years. Um, or maybe it was even, as far as things you hated about him, maybe these were actually some behaviors he had that were deal breakers, but you accept it. And maybe these are things that you never even told anybody else because you knew if you did, they would tell you you were a fool for staying, okay? Write all that in this column. What I didn't like, what I hated about him, okay? And once you've written all those things down, I want you to take each item and write how it made you feel. So for example, maybe it's I didn't like, I hated that he uh, would yell and bang his fists when he got angry and we argued. How did it make you feel? It made me feel scared and belittled, okay? So go ahead and do this column, what I didn't like, what I hated about him, and then the how it made me feel column, those behaviors, and go ahead and take a minute and do that, okay? And pause the video. All right, so now what's next? Now that you've completed all your four columns, you're going to linger. I want you to reread this column, what I didn't like, what I hated about him, okay? And I want you to linger there and hear how it made you feel. I want you to think and remember how this stuff made you feel. How did you feel? What did, was this okay? Was any of this okay? And was it okay for you to feel this way? Okay, I want you to linger there and I want you to ask yourself, since you all have been divorced, 
Has he done anything to not make you feel these negative emotions other than simply getting out of your life? But even with that, did he hurt you more because he showed a callousness in jumping into another relationship immediately or even started it while you all were married? You know, if there was any infidelity that went on. Okay? So linger there. And then another thing I want you to do is as you're lingering these two columns, as I want you to ask yourself, when you really think about it, what kind of a man have I really lost? Okay? And then play it out. Play the scenario out. What would life be like if he came back today after all the pain and hurt that he's caused me? What would we have to do to fix it? And, and play it out in your mind, seriously, what would have to happen for it to be fixed? And let me tell you, the more you think about that, the less attractive he becomes and the less attractive being in a relationship with him becomes because it starts to become more trouble than it's worth because you realize, oh my goodness, I mean, it's like a grenade went off on a bridge. We're going to have to pick up all these tiny pieces, put this back together, that back together. Oh, no, and then we have this and that, and then he's going to have to live this down, and then am I going to be able to really truly forgive him? And then it's just all of this, and then you have to think, okay, but then he, you know, start, play it out. Play the scenario out. If he showed up on my door today and we said, okay, let's give it a try, what does that look like? What does that really look like? And when you start to think in your mind, no doubt about the litany, the list of things that he would have to do to regain your heart. You also have to ask yourself, who's going to sign up for that? For him to make it right. Who's going to sign up for that? Not saying you're not worth it, but is it realistic? Because he already showed you how he really feels about you by the way he treated you and left. And he's with somebody else now. So when you look at what he would have to do to get it back, you have to ask yourself, First of all, is he even willing to do that? And number two, do I even want a man that I have to do all this work with to fix and get right? Or do I just want to get myself right and attract a better man and be in a better relationship? How's that sound? Hello? So, again, this is the exercise, all right? And like I said, it's very powerful and you want to allow yourself the time and space to complete it. Do not rush through this. Um, it's okay if emotions come up because when you think about the good, sometimes that can be painful too because it makes you sad, okay? Because you're, you're like, well, how could he forget, you know, this, that, whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Allow yourself to feel those emotions. Let him out, cry, whatever, okay? This is a constructive way to work through your pain. Now, if you've done this and you feel like, okay, I get it, you know, because for me, it really was like a, a switch went and it was like done. Now, the, the feeling of being in love with him or even still being slightly open, it was like, psh, it was done. It was over. And so with this exercise, it can be very powerful and do the same thing for you. Getting over it, not wanting to be with him anymore is not something that has to take a long time simply because you were married a long time. It really doesn't. It just has to do with you getting the proper viewpoint and perspective on the reality of who he is, who he's shown you he is, your acceptance and belief of that truth and ability to accept it, okay? Now, if you'd like uh, some help, you know, learning how to heal, uh, how to improve your self-worth, you know, if you're feeling... You know, if your self-esteem is very low after going through this level of rejection and pain, if you want help, with, like I said, increasing your self-worth, increasing your self-confidence, uh, learning how to get rid of this baggage so you can succeed in a new relationship, even how to attract a new relationship, and then how to thrive and be successful and just happy in life, period, I have an amazing 90-day program. It's called Get Real and Heal, How to Thrive After an Unwanted Divorce, Find Love Again, and Live Happy. If that sounds like something you'd like to learn more about, please book a free 30-minute Discover and Action call with me through my website, CoachJamila.com. I'll put all the information uh, in the description below. I'll also invite you to subscribe uh, to my website because I have a free audio download, the top three mistakes women make after an unwanted divorce, uh, some very uh, amazing tips that you'll find very helpful. If you've been through an unwanted divorce, you definitely want to avoid these three things, especially if you're even considering being in another relationship right away. And finally, I'd also invite you to join my private Facebook group, uh, Get Real and Heal Life After an Unwanted Divorce. And it's a, a community of women 
who've been through an unwanted divorce that want to heal and prepare to be successful in a new relationship. All right. So if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, click the little gray bell for notifications. If you're on Facebook, please like this video, uh, follow my coach Jamila page and thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you here. And also if you've gone through this exercise, please comment below and tell me what you feel like your results were. All right. Thanks.